Hi, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Chizuka Anderson. Today I'm in the Happy Road Oyama Shopping Street. It's located just five minutes away from Ikebukuro by Terrain, and there are over 200 shops here to check out. So let's see what kind of delicious foods they have here. Let's go. The reason why it was called Happy Road is because it was built right after World War II when most of Tokyo was totally destroyed. So it started out as actually a really short road and now it's expanded into a full-blown shopping arcade that stretches about half a kilometer. Oh, what is this? It looks like a wagashi shop. Let's take a look. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Koko wa wagashi yasan desu ka? So desu ne, hai. Ah, sugoi steki. Kono mise te chinami itsu gurai mai kara aru desu ka? 1955 nen no kaiten nanimasu. 55 nen ka. Ano, nani ka tabete mitai in desu kedo. Kanoko te watashi wa chotto anmari yoku shiranai in desu kedo. Donna mono desu ka? Kore wa. Itto, naka ni koshiyan te yu anko wa ite te, maari ni ano amai azuki. This sounds really good. I've actually, I don't know if I've tried that before. But I'm also interested in this side. あの、ちょっと気になるのが、和菓子屋さんといってもあのおにぎりとかも置いてあるんですね。和菓子専門じゃないですか、うちは。はい。逆にね、あの、こっちは一年中売れるし、こっちは夏場があんまり売れないんです
Look at that cheesy creaminess with those really thick slices of ham. I have nothing to say, but it's super good. It's really creamy, really cheesy, a little bit messy, but it's fun to eat. Just はい。気になるんですけど、このカンボ。はい。かなりロックなんですけど、それはなぜですかはい。僕はあの、アメリカのメタリカというバンドが大好きで、これはメタリカとビートアンドグリートでお会いできたですね。写真になります。はい。すご
the palm of your hand. This one is called Mago no Te Gyoza, and that means grandchild hand gyoza, which I think is so cute. It's a tiny version, so it'd be about the same size as like a little kid's hand. So give this a try. It's really the same size. That's a hefty gyoza. And all of these are already flavored, as she mentioned, but we can add a little bit of vinegar if we want to. First, we'll try without the vinegar because it already has flavor. So let's give it a try. Itadakimasu. Mm -mm. Mm. Look at how much soup is coming out. It is packed full of pork. We have crunchy veggies, garlic. It's really garlicky. It is so meaty and juicy. Let's give it a try with a little bit of vinegar and see how that changes the flavor. Gyoza usually goes really well with vinegar, so it should be good. Here we go. Mmm, that is excellent. The vinegar changes the flavor quite a lot, and the, the crispy dough on the outside is so nice, and it's nice and doughy on the sides. You get to enjoy a lot of textures. This is a meal on its own. It's that gem-packed. Next, I want to try the smaller dumplings. I say small, but they're still pretty big. The Mago no Te Gyoza. That looks so good. So this one is supposedly, um, instead of garlic, it's got ginger inside. So it should taste a little bit different. Here we go. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> And that is a juicy dumpling. It got everywhere. <laughs> Let's try it again. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. It's so hot. The skin of the gyoza is really doughy and delicious. It's so juicy. It's almost similar to a shorompo or shaolongpao. Man, this is a full meal on itself. I'm so happy with this. This is so good. But I want to know a little bit more about how this shop got started. So, let's ask our chef. この店なんですか。いつできたんですか。えっとね、5年前初めお客様が見えられなくてね、大変な苦労しました。うん、でも少しずつあの例の大きいこのフォークを持って宣伝をしたおかげでね、いろんなお客様にこの餃子をね、可